Good morning. Getting ready to go to work. Just gonna make a quick video about just surrender, what that means. Kind of an experience I had <clears throat> over this last few months. Had a couple times. And I was gifted with a great experience yesterday. But um you know, surrender is not what we think. It's uh, something we, we've been conditioned to believe that surrender means failure. And so when they talk about surrendering, you know, on a spiritual level, it's, I think it's hard for people in the Western world to understand. And I think it's been mis, mis um, interpreted. And people have been misled with it, even in the Eastern cultures, what surrender really is. And I'll just exp I'll just kind of tell you what my experience is, because that's really all we have to go by is our own experience. Uh, at the end of the day, people can talk about stuff all day long, but if we don't have the experience, it's pretty irrelevant. Um, we can get inspiration from others, but. You know, like I say, with a with a Sahaj Marg path, it's simple. It's a it's a strategic plan, and you could you could have other you could approach this from all other different angles, and there's other paths that probably that lead to the same place. But I like this system for me because it's just very simple. But um, the first thing we have to understand is this. We have to understand that there's, uh, or have the experience that there's a higher, there's a higher power, there's a love, there's a, I had a, you know, I told, I think I've told about my experience. I had meditating with Kamlesh and he gave me transmission in my meditation. And it was, it was a experience I needed to have because I had, you know, you have theories or you have an idea of what God is but this godly energy that I was receiving it was God but it wasn't it was an aspect of God let's just say that it was an aspect but it was it was more profound and more powerful than anything I could have ever imagined um, you know you watch an atomic bomb go off and you go oh my god that's just like the most powerful thing that was like a a wisp, a wisp of smoke compared to the power that this, that this energy held and the potentiality of it. And you understood that just one little drop of this could change everything. It could change all reality, but that's not how this divine energy works. It's very subtle. It's very, um, it's, it's loving and protective. It's not going to come in and just change everything and basically what surrendering is is when you understand that this aspect is real it's it's actually a real thing and you let it take the lead so I'll give you an example um, I was dealing with a patient a difficult patient and I had tried to go give him a breathing treatment he didn't want it. He wanted to get his inhaler from home. So his wife brought his inhaler and I went back and he, um, he was just very obstinate. It, it was confrontational. It was like he wanted to start a confrontation with me. And so I went in the room and I tried to get his inhaler and he, he wanted the nurse to get it out of the bag. He didn't want me to get out of the bag and he was very rude about it. And I said, okay. And I, told the nurse, you know, can you please get it and send it to pharmacy? But I, you know, got that flash of anger and I was like, what a jerk, you know, in my mind. Of course, I didn't say anything. And I went back downstairs and I vented to one of my coworkers and I just sat down and I just had this feeling of uh, letting God, this godly energy, this godly love flow through me and, and let it, let it take control of the situation. And it was like a tremendous relief and my heart center like lit up and I just felt like, um, cause I knew that, cause I know this energy is real. So I was able to imagine letting that energy just take control of the situation. 
I could perfectly trust whatever happened with that. I didn't have to try to sit there and, and rationalize or, you know, whatever. I could just let the situation be and actually turn that into love, you know, compassion and love. And, um, that's just one experience of this, but this is the practical application of Sahaj Mark. It is about being practical and it's practical knowledge so that you can actually just let go of these things that might cause you anxiety, might cause you distress. When you understand that this power, this energy, whatever you want to call it, love, God, whatever you want to call it, this aspect of divine is real. It's a real thing. And it will assist and it will um, take over uh, control of it. We don't have to try to control it. Because when we try to control, that's when we create all the problems in our life. When we try to control everything. And um, at least that's been my experience. Cause a lot of anxiety. Cause a lot of distress. And um, there's other examples I could go into. Um, we resuscitated a baby. It was um, about a month ago, and um, this baby was dead. It came out dead, and um, my team, we worked on the baby, and the baby came back, and ended up, ends up, the baby's, I mean, considering, all things considered, the baby's doing very well. Um, not going to be a vegetable or anything like that. Uh, might have some deficits they have to work with, but the baby survived. And I just went through all this emotional stuff because it was someone I knew. And um, it was this person's baby. And so I knew the person. And so it was made it personal. And I just prayed and just prayed for this godly energy aspect to just take control and be surround them with this godly energy. And it was, uh, it was a, I, I had almost like this visualization of it during the day of this godly energy and um it was almost like it was telling me okay we've got this you don't have to you know obsess about it you don't have to question you can just let it go to us and um huge relief you know my mind still churned on it <laughs> you know it was traumatic and you have to process trauma so that's just something you just have to allow to, to process Anyway, I got to eat my snack before I go in. Have a good day.